Hi everyone, it's me Willow and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I've got my buddy Albert right here beside me. Um, he's just wanted to join us so we're just gonna have him to the side right now but welcome to my new video today is going to be an unboxing video so i finally got sofia coppola's archive 1999 to 2023 book i have been wanting it since she announced it and i asked for it for christmas asked for my birthday finally got it for my birthday in january and I finally got it now here in basically March. So I'm gonna unbox it. But my cat, he's all into it too. You wanna see what book I got? So yep. Yeah. Oh, you can see the pink. There we go. Oh, oh my god, what do you think, Albert? I love it. I love it so much. And here's the book, guys. Wow. I... Wow. Yes. Okay, so I love it. I love the pink. I think it's gorgeous. The spine looks very nice, too. I wish it was hard copy, to be honest. Like, I feel like when you get a coffee book like this um a design book fashion book film book like you want it to be hardcover like i have a bunch of copy books like this from different film stuff they are all hard copy hardcover and none of the options i don't know if the original options came in hardcover because when we were researching different websites to buy it from they were all in paperback and so I googled and I looked on like TikTok and stuff with people's reviews and they were all paperback as well. So maybe she only published it in a heart in a paperback and not a hardcover, but I would have preferred I would have preferred a hardcover, even though I know that probably would have been more expensive. But why don't we open it? First page. So it opens up. With this picture. And I guess the inside cover too is her office. I believe this, this is her office. I don't know what year it's supposed to be. But I just love it. You can see Valley of the Dolls on the floor. Some foreign films I think. Some bunch of different photography. Obviously, she's has some influence with her father. So, I just have always liked Sofia Coppola. So, it'd be really interesting to see her mindset coming in this book. Because it's kind of like, all of this is from, like, her archive, obviously, from, like, the past 20 years. And the first entry, it says, After each project, stuff ended up in boxes, a mix of references, notes, scripts, and photos from set. I took photos with my Cognac T3 and asked photographers friends to come visit. As the box started to pile up over the years and, and, and enough time had passed, I finally opened them up and started to look through them. I decided to have a book to have all of them in one place. I hope you guys enjoy the scrap of book of my film work and maybe find it helpful to show how these projects came together so that's pretty cool that's exactly why i wanted it because i just find her her world so interesting uh, and then this is just like also her desk i think i love somewhere somewhere is one of my favorite movies i would say it's probably like that or lost in translation are my favorite movies of hers i see her father and i think that's her mother and then we have like an interview with lynn hershenberg 
I think this is a couple pages long. I'm trying to be delicate with the book. When I read a little excerpt. Ooh, I think I'm going to do, this is from about Priscilla. So it's Larry is the, he asks her, your latest project is Priscilla, a film based on the autograph, audio biography of Priscilla Presley. And then Sophia answers, Priscilla wrote a book called Elvis and Me back in the 80s. It's about her relationship with Elvis, although mostly he's a side character. The book is about her childhood in Germany, how she met Elvis at 14 and he took her to Graceland, then left her there while he was away filming movies in LA. Priscilla's adulthood was formed by Elvis and his tastes. He dressed her up like his ideal. It has similarities to the story of Marianne Antoinette, but in Graceland. And then Larry said, and to make the film, you built Graceland in Toronto, which I know that. And I thought that was so cool because I was living in Toronto when they were filming. So I I just love that. It comes back to that. Oh, it's so cool. Um, so yeah, she said, I shot on a soundstage for three weeks. It doubled as Graceland and Germany. Kaylee Spaney had to age from 15 to 28 and we had a great time recreating her clothes. Chanel, Chanel made us a copy of Priscilla's actual wedding dress and designers Fabrio's Vita made shoes that perfectly fit the period. Valentino made us Italian wool sweaters for Elvis. It was fun making the visual worlds to invoke that period. Yeah. And then obviously it goes through each of her films. So like the first, her first feature film was The Virgin Suicides. So we showed that. And I think I'll probably just like go through the book and show you guys some pictures from each of the different films she's done. So like Beguile, Lost in Translation, Marianne, Marie Antoinette, um, Priscilla, obviously at the end. So I'll just go through and I'll show you guys this. So yeah.
Okay guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video and I hope you guys enjoyed my little Sofia Coppola archive unboxing and a little read through with it. I hope you guys enjoyed looking at the pictures, seeing a little bit about the interview that's included and just getting a taste of this book. Like I said, I know it was expensive. I couldn't get it right when it came out even though I wanted it. Um, so I'm glad that I finally get to add it to my collection and hopefully you guys can get to add it to your collection as well in the future. But if you don't have time or you don't have the budget right now, you can just watch this video until you have the chance to get it. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Please leave a comment down below your favorite Sofia Coppola movie. And why don't you guys leave a like if you enjoyed this video, all the likes and all the comments really make a difference and helps my channel grow um and if you guys want to help my channel grow even more i'd appreciate you guys subscribing as well for future media and movie content all right thank you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next video bye